Welcome to Counseling Corner today. We are continuing on our sex education episode. And today we are taking the third episode on sex education. And on our corner today we are going to talk about the female anatomy. I'm not here alone. I'm here with my colleague, um, Polly. So Polly, welcome to the program. Thank you. We are going to deliberate extensively on the external and the internal part of the female anatomy. Under the external part of the female anatomy, we are going to talk about the vulva, the libia, the clitoris, the opening of the urethra, the opening of the vagina. Those are areas that the, the external part of the female anatomy comprises of. After we've dealt with the external part, talk about the internal part. I want to roll this discussion with trying to explain what the vulva is. Most times we confuse the vulva to do the vagina. Now the vulva is a whole female genital package where both the libia, the clitoris, the vagina opening the opening of the urethra all forms this package but sometimes we call it the vagina so today I want to correct that impression it is not the vagina that has that outer package that it is referred to as the vulva now we've seen what the vulva is I am going next to the labia we are going to discuss labia just as my partner said and the labia is also known as the vaginal lips. It has two parts, the upper labia and the inner labia. The outer labia are the large fleshy lips of the full bar, while the inner labia are the folds of the skin that protects the entrance to the vagina and the urethra. It, it may also cover the outer labia, that is to say, the outer labia can cover the inner labia. It's bigger than the inner labia. It has different sizes because we humans, we are different. So if yours is big or small, don't be scared. It has the same function. Then what about the opening of the urethra? My co-host here will take that. Thank you very much. So the urethra is the opening where we pee from. And the urethra, the opening of the urethra is located just below the clitoris. So that is where you can find the urethra opening. Now the next point, Colin will take the next point. Thank you very much. Yeah, the next point is the clitoris. The clitoris is just above the urethra. The tip of the clitoris is located at the top of the vulva. Where your inner lips meet. You can only see the tip of the clitoris, which is about the size of a pea. That is when it's small. Then when it's big, it's just like the size of a lima bean. It has a shaft which extends into the body. It has many sensitive nerves endings. Then, what about the opening of the vagina? My partner will take that. So the opening of the vagina, it's below the urethra. And this is where menstrual blood flows out. This same place too, it's where babies are born from. Or babies come through that channel or canal. That is the opening of the vagina. Now, we've discussed extensively the external part of the female anatomy. We are moving now to the internal part of the female anatomy which comprises of the vagina and proper remember we talked about the opening of the vagina now we're going to talk about the vagina and proper the cervix the uterus the fallopian tube and others so let us roll this discussion with the vagina the vagina is a tube that connects 
the vulva, the cervix, and the uterus. And it is this tube that brings out the menstrual blood. This is where the menstrual blood comes out from. And this is the same place where babies come from. So this is where babies are born from. That is the vagina. We are moving next on the description of the cervix. The cervix connects the vagina to the uterus and produce mucus. This mucor becomes very clear, elastic and slippery during ovulation. During sex too, the mucus has its own function. It helps sperm from the male reaching the uterus and the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube. What's the fallopian tube? This is a pair of muscular tubes which stretches from the ovaries to the uterus. These tubes also carry an egg or an ova from the ovaries each month to the infodemium for transporting to the uterus. The inside of each fallopian tube is covered in cilia that work with the smooth muscle of the tube to carry the ovum to the uterus. So you see, the fallopian tube has a lot of work to do. My co-host here will take the next point. The next point we we'll have here is the fibula. The fibula is like a finger-shaped kind of object at the end of the fallopian tube. This fibula is like a tiny finger. Um, it helps to sweep the ovaries that is released into the fallopian tube. So that means it serves as a brush, as uh, something that sweeps. So it moves it into the fallopian tube, which is being transported off. That is the work of the fibula. So when you see the diagram of the fallopian tube, that hand shape or finger shape kind of object you see there, it's what it's referred to as a fibula. We're going next to our next point, which is the ovaries. Remember we said the uh, fibrils help to move the ovary into the fallopian, uh, into the, um, helps to move the egg into the fallopian tube, sorry. So now we want to talk about the ovaries now that are moved into the fallopian tube in proper. So Bobby, tell us about the ovaries that are moved into the fallopian tube. Yes, thank you very much. The ovaries are glands which produce female sex hormones and also egg cells. These are pairs of small glands that has the size of an almond located on the left and right side of the pelvic body. Each of these ovary contains 150,000 eggs to 200,000 eggs each month from puberty to your menopause, one of your ovaries will release one egg. Sometimes more, but this is on a rare case. The time when an egg is released is called ovulation. Now, what about the uterus or the womb, which all of us calls it? This is a hollow pear shaped organ. It, it can expand up to 50 cm in length during pregnancy. The uterus grows a lining each month in preparation for pregnancy. If there's no pregnancy, then the uterus sheds the lining, which is known as menstruation. The uterus is located on the posterior and superior to the urinary tract, which is connected to the two fallopian tubes on its superior end, then to the vagina on its inferior end. What about the hemi? Mercy, what do you have on that? Okay. Thank you. The hymen is a tiny fleshy tissue that stretches across the vagina. The hymen 
tears off when an object is introduced into the vagina for the first few periods or few times that an object is introduced into the vagina and most times for most persons when this object is introduced into the vagina there is slight bleeding that comes out of the vagina so our young ones please take care of your vagina make sure you don't introduce objects into your vagina because it can break the head of the hymen most times it is advisable to wait until you are ready for sex before the hymen is broken and sometimes too it's not only objects that can break or tear up the hymen sometimes friction as a result of hard spot or a strong fall can actually break the hymen so make sure that whatever you are doing you go gently so that you don't just destroy your hymen and thank you for external and the internal part of the female anatomy and I believe that our students, our parents, our guardians will be able to use this guide to help their children to describe what the female anatomy is. We didn't just describe all of this for fun. We describe it so that you know where the ovulation takes place when it comes out, where the menstrual blood comes out from, and where babies are born from. These are majorly the essence why we took the female anatomy. And then the hymen, so that you can take care of your vagina, so that it doesn't just break up just like that. We want you to be part of another episode on Kamiya Corner, on our series, Sex Education. We still have more goodies for you on this corner. So please always drop by. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Share it so that parents, students, guardians, and other interested in the videos can have access to it. What is it that we didn't cover on this video that you want us to cover? Please give us a comment below the comment box. Give us more suggestions. Give us your feedback. That will help us to save you better. Until next time, we'll see you on our sex education. Bye. And from Bali. Bye. Tell our viewers, bye.